Hey, what's up, YouTube? Looky there. This is a Schecter E1 Special Edition. Uh, it's got a lovely purple quilt maple top. It's got the uh, sustainer pickup here in the neck. It has a Schecter USA humbucker in there. I can't remember which one. It's pretty good. It has a real Floyd Rose series 1500, 1500, um, which I think all it is is a series 1000, but it's got the addition of the stainless steel, um, I guess you'd call them block pins, and stainless steel um, screws to hold the saddles down. I personally have upgraded it with titanium string blocks because those are the things that wear out easily in a Floyd Rose, are the blocks that pinch against the string. And it looks pretty cool. It's an awesome bridge. It's got a push-in style arm. Most most Floyd Roses come with a, the it's got the bushing on it that you, that you lock in. Uh, I prefer the push-in, so that was a huge bonus. So electronics-wise, we've got a volume, a tone knob, we got a three-way switch to select different pickups. And then we have these two switches over here. This one is for, they're both actually for the sustainer or the Sustainiac pickup. Uh, this one selects the modes. There's three different modes. There's one, two, and three. Don't know what they do. I, I know that this one works the best. And I'll, I'll show you them. And this is the on and the off. This guitar is made of mahogany, I believe, with a maple top. It's got what looks like a one piece, probably, oh, let's scratch it up, probably a mahogany neck. Um, it's got lumen lay side dots. I don't think the frets are stainless, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's got this really cool binding that looks like, I don't know, like graphite or something. That's all along the body and the neck, all up along the headstock and everything. I'm missing the truss rod on this guy. It's got a nice volute in the back. If anybody's wondering, that's a tool for my Floyd Rose. It's a little three millimeter Allen wrench. That's got a magnet on the bottom, so it just sticks to the bottom of one of your tuners, so you don't lose it. Nice and easy to get at. There's the back of the guitar with me in the way. Got the battery port, giant electronics cavity. Got the burst in the back too, which is kind of neat. Input jack style, football style. This thing is awesome. No scratches, no dings. I got this guitar in a trade and uh, I like it a lot. So what does it sound like, you wonder? Let's find out. So of course I'm gonna go through uh, three different types of sounds. I got a clean for you. I got a dad rock mid gain for you, and then I have some straight up high gain sounds for you too. Uh, block inlays on the ebony fretboard, just so you know. Obviously you got the locking out of the top on the Floyd Rose. Let's see what's up. I'm using these picks today. These are Ibanez picks, and they're like a sand grip, and they're amazing. They have an awesome tapered tip on them. I've been using the crap out of this one, so it's a little worn out. But uh, brand new, they look like this. Excellent tip. Amazing picks. If you can find these, get them, because they're uh, remarkably good. I have a problem with picks turning in my hand as I play, and these do not. So, tones. Bridge pickup, clean. <laughs> guitar is tuned to D standard.
middle position. <laughs> position. some dad rock, some uh, mid gain here. Shut that one off, turn that one off. So back to the bridge pickup. I got a little crickle crackle. Sometimes in the volume knob. I think the person that had this guitar before me uh, didn't use it very often and let it sit for a long time. And when that happens, sometimes the pots get oxidized. And you get a crackle when you turn it up and down. But what can get rid of it is a some cleaner and just roll it back and forth. But sometimes you can just roll it back and forth enough and the crackle goes away. So mid gain. <laughs> Bridge pickup. <laughs>
maybe it's illegal to play uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan songs on a Explorer style guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say though, this neck pickup for a bluesy, like jangly tone crushes it, man. I love the sound of the neck pickup. And I think part of the reason that sounds so good is it looks like a humbucker, but it is not a humbucker. This front coil here is a dummy. It's just a piece of plastic. The only thing that's active is the metal coil here. That's that's the only thing that's an actual pickup. So it's kind of a single coil sized pickup with a, a fake dummy plastic coil there. Um, but it sounds badass, I think, in the neck position. It's very musical to me. So off the dad rock, let's get some uh, high gain tones going here. That's what I like playing. And I gotta say, the uh, plugin that I'm using today for the high gain tones is the new free plugin from uh, Nico. What the hell is it called? I'm having a hard time here. It's called Amped Roots from uh, ML Sound Lab. And it's a bad ass little amp. Uh, it's free right now. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to be free, so grab it while you can for your computer because it sounds incredible. Uh, it's got a bunch of presets in here. I made my own, of course. Um, it sounds very, very good. And I, I actually turned on uh, another free product from ML Sign Labs, which is the Miko um, Cab Simulator, uh, which is free also. The free version comes with only one cab type. It's called the Mega 412 but you get a bunch of mics that you can play with and it sounds better to my ears than the cab that comes with the uh, amp roots. But really cool plugin. Uh, here's the high gain tone and it's literally just high gain stuff um, that you can get with the amp. So if you need a high gain sounding amp, grab it because it's free and it's awesome. That's neat. <laughs> Middle position. It's maybe the first time I've had a guitar that had a usable mid position for anything high gain. It's it's pretty neat. I think it, it gives you that genty sound. Uh,
neck position. Very cool sounding guitar. That neck pickup is really neat. Bridge pickup is awesome too. Last thing to talk about here is the Sustainiac. So this is my favorite position, which is down on this, the first switch down. And then this guy here, when you flip it down, it's on. And it was, it's a really interesting thing. I've never had one before this. It's really weird that you can feel the magnetics in your fingers when you're playing. <laughs> thing will go forever <laughs> it's really really neat um that's the position i like the most the other two positions i'm not really certain of this one brings it to like a high harmonic position and up. Yeah. 
very fun little device. Um, tough to use in a song, probably, for me, anyway, because, I don't know, I would use it as a background thing, maybe, to follow a chorus, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a really interesting tool to have, I dig it a lot. Uh, so there you have it, this is the Schechter E1 Special. Uh, fantastic guitar, I'm very happy to have traded for it. Um, traded a beautiful guitar for it too, I traded my Jericho for this. Um, some people might call me crazy for that, but not me. I, I think it was a good trade. I was ready for a new guitar and a new style too for me, which is good. I've had these in the past, the style guitar, but I, uh, I missed it. Uh, and it's a beautiful instrument. I highly recommend checking these Schecters out, man. They, Schecter knows what's going on, man. Their, their guitars are built so solid. It really bums me out that a lot of their guitars have horrible resale value. But I don't care because they're just built so well. Get your hands on a Schecter. You'll see what I mean. Um, so there you go. Schecter. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but uh, I have an album that came out, and I'm going to plug it. It's... Uh, the band name that I'm using is Coldgrin, K-O-L-D-G-R-I-N. And uh, you can go listen to it on SoundCloud. If you go to soundcloud.com and just search for Coldgrin, or you can look in the description below and you can click on the link. And it'll take you right to my album, 10 Songs. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, Schechter, good stuff. Check them out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.